Hey folks, Jessica here. So, Wind Vera is finally here. This is the fifth SSR Vera. There's six counting the SR Dark Vera. Uh, there's no Rare Vera, um, but there's also no Fire Vera. Once we get a Fire Vera, that'll be a Vera in every single element, which ob which obviously, well maybe not so obviously, uh, no other character has made as many SSR versions as Vera across like I'm trying to think who has the next most versions. It's probably like Clarice or something? Uh, but yeah, there's there's OG SSR Dark Vera, there is um, Grand Light Vera, there's Summer uh, Earth Vera, there is uh, wa the Water Catalina and Vera, or Caterpillar and Vera is the name of it. And then now there's the Wind Vera, which is so pure. This is her art from the Another Sky Music video. Oh god, I'm so excited. Uh, okay, so it's also like fest, so I'm gonna roll what rolls I have and we'll see when she comes home, but um, that's not the entire plan for tonight, but I, I, don't worry, I will try to roll for Vera, because of course I'm gonna roll for Vera, because Vera is me. Let me just um, send out on uh, social media real quick that I am streaming, so one second. I'm so excited. Okay, so I think I've notified all the relevant parties who might be interested. Now let's go do it. Um, yeah. I'm gonna give people a few seconds to file in because I like a few people like as soon as Windvira came out, people were like, "Oh my God, do you have roll saved up? Are you gonna roll for it? Are you gonna roll for it? Are you gonna roll for it?" It's like, well, yeah, obviously. This is like, this is what else would I be saving for? So, um, yeah, uh, let's see. Let's see what she does first. I'll look over what she does and then we'll get into some rolls for her. Ideally, I don't think she's a grand character, so I'd love to not have to spend all my rolls tr to try and spark her, but, uh, you know, I would do it for Vera. So, let's see. her. Uh, she's Harp Melee. So, she not only has forgotten how to use a sword, she's forgotten how to use an axe as well. So, <laughs> but now she knows how to use her fist and a heart. What, what is weapon specialty, Psy Games? What is weapon specialty? Like, I don't understand... Why weapon, weapon specialty? I'm no, you you don't understand viewers um, that are saying I shouldn't roll for Vera. I know she's not a red character. I don't care. Vera is my favorite character in the game. My favorite character in the game. Um, she is me. She is like the the, the character that got me into Grand Blue because she is a blonde yandere lesbian. I fucking love her so much. So um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna try and see if I can get her. But let's see what she does. Activate Nitro Force. No idea what that is. It's probably some sort of secondary status effect. Go to Plan B. We'll knock. We'll be knocked out when effect ends. Can't recast. So I guess that's like some super form, like Freesia. Freesia. Doesn't say it has like a ready in three turns. Okay. Uh, wind damage all foes. Hit to defense and petrify. That's interesting. Uh, boost to hit to defense. Okay. Deals multi attacks and bonus wind damage. All right, interesting. Sharp boost to stats. Boost. Okay, so yeah, she has a lot like um, Freesia. So yeah, let's let's get through our free rolls. Um, the rolls we got stacked up. Also, other things on the agenda tonight. I'm gonna do the the tier two bo the tier two bosses some more. I'm gonna actually give them some more respect this time and actually think about it before I go charging in there. Oh, thank you. You're also beautiful. I assume you're beautiful. I don't know what you look like, but you're probably beautiful. All my fans are beautiful, I see. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm gonna go hard for Vera, because cause I have stuff saved up, but also, um... She like okay, so normally I'd say stuff like, ah, uh, yeah, you should not try go to go hard for characters that you can ticket, and I'm pretty sure you can ticket Vera. But you know what? 
you know what? Um, I'm breaking my rules. I'm going hard with Vera because she's Vera. And we only need one more. One more. <laughs> Strictly Doopy says, This is the one time, one of the times where KMR has damaged my soul. I agree. I agree. The new summon? There's a new summon? What's a new summon? Sorry, I don't even know what else is in this release. I think there's like a Korwa, a new... Ooh. Well, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that was fast. Um, excuse me? <laughs> I was going to make this big thing about how I was tixing this, but apparently this is going to be... Up here. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Got her! <laughs> uh, wow. I wasn't. Those were my single pull tickets. Holy shit. Um, okay. Well, I guess we're done. <laughs> Thanks for coming to the stream, everybody. <laughs> what? <laughs> I never pull the thing I'm trying to pull. What was that? That I pulled. Was it five pulls? Okay, okay. Well, shit, now what? Uh, so, okay, let me see what this, this summon is that people are talking about. This ugly fish. Holy shit, this is an ugly fish. Oh my god. Jam defect, wind allies, consumes 25% of HP. And it, okay, so it's like wind, um, not, yeah, it's like wind bonito. Or, yeah, wind bonito. Bonito? The blue fish. Whichever the blue fish is. I don't understand what, what their obsession with, like, fishes being powerful summons are. It's, it's very strange to me. Uh, so am I gonna roll some more? I don't know. I might just save my rolls for another time. Which, you know, I was gonna do a whole big roll video on this, but, like, if I can get away with just five rolls, uh, I will take it. I don't think there's really anything I want to spark here either. Yeah, not really. Yeah, it's a wind bonito. Okay, so let me actually do a little quick squappy thing if I set this up right. Did I set this up right? Get rid of the blue stacks version. There we go. So if you don't know, I usually do my pulls on blue stacks um, just because uh, Psy Games has this weird thing. But it's complicated. But I usually do my pulls on blue stacks because that's actually hooked up to like. Um, like like my PayPal and all that stuff. Um, whereas I can't do that with the regular Chrome version as far as I know. So if you ever see me swap windows randomly during one of these, that's why. Also, no, my windows are in the wrong order. Go down. I need you to go down. Go down some more. OBS, why are you like this? Sorry, you're seeing the full uncut version. Okay, so I think first things first, the rolls for Vera started and ended. I rolled her in five single pulls. This was my gay destiny. No, Rod, you don't understand. I've already rolled her. <laughs> I pulled her in five pulls. Yeah, no. <laughs> like I started rolling and I'm like, okay, we'll get these single pull tickets out. And it's like, oh yeah, that's our, 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 our. Arm. Oh, an SSR. Oh, it's Vera. Oh, I guess I'm done. <laughs> this is my gay destiny. It's really good too, because I'm I I I'm trying to save money for stuff, so I didn't want to I didn't want to go hard on her, but I would have I would have I would have done anything for Vera. Where is she? Why is my list sorted so funny? Wind SSR. Yes, my gay destiny has been realized. Oh, so obviously I'm gonna we're gonna play through her episode and see what she does. I have no idea what she does. Like this is one of those cases where I literally have no idea what she does. Also, I hope you're ready to see your uncap art because I don't know if I'm ready. All right, let's see. Level cap fifty. You know, as much as I like Vera Kalina, Kalina needs to fucking like acknowledge Vera's affections and she's killing me. It's like Vera, like Ah, oh, Vera, find someone who loves you back, Jesus. Date date Dejita or date like I don't know. 
any of the other awesome female characters. Get a poly relationship with Yul and Sushet. <laughs> okay, a cap art. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! It's the fucking... It's the Psycho Bureskin! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Are we acknowledging Psycho Bure as a real thing now? I, I, what the fuck? Okay, now I'm really curious. Okay, now she's uncapped 80. Hang on, let me save a screenshot of that fucking Psycho Bureskin. That's amazing. You can't have another delusion character. It better not be. I'm tired of this, this nonsense. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's upgrade her. Wait, what? Hang on. Let me put her on a team. So she's a fist. <laughs> she's a fist character. A fist harp character. You know why she's a fist character? She's a lesbian. <laughs> Vera's in the fisting. Confirmed. Tell me I'm wrong. Okay. Oh, and I just rolled Sen the other day, actually, on my free pulls. But I was get the thing I was gonna say is, um, I mean, sometimes you get really into it, and fingers turn into fists. I mean, I'm a pure innocent bab that has never fisted anything. Um, let's see. Uh, but Senior Fist, um, I rolled Sen with my free pulls off of the the anniversary gotcha. And then Skahach, Skahakach, fuck. How do you say Ska? Okay, people who play F Fate Go, are you supposed to, is this supposed to, are you supposed to say your name like Skahach? Like, um, the purple spear lady in Fate Go? Or is this a different name and I'm just crazy? Is this like, is her, actu is her name actually like Ska Skatacha? That's a very unpleasant thing to say. It sounds like I sneezed. But uh, she's fist, and uh, Andira, I think, is fist, and yeah, and uh, San is fist, and Vera is also fist. So like, maybe the fist team's a thing. I don't know. I don't know if it's any good, but I think maybe. We did just get a wind fist from uh, the Xeno uh, Clash event. Uh, I, I, before you ask, yes, I did FOB mine. No, I, 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 have, I don't, I haven't even looked at it. I don't even know what it does. But Windfist seems like it could be a thing. Anyways, I have got a gold book right here, ready to go for her. Okay. So, now I've got pop on some headphones so I can do the fade episode. Hello there, welcome. Uh, got a shit post about this. One second. I know my stream loves it when I take a second to tweet, but you know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta announce that Vera came home. So we'll do a favorite episode, and then um, I'm gonna see what she does, and then uh, I will probably do the tier three bosses again. Uh, I think last time I just didn't, I, I, if I didn't give them enough, um, enough, uh, credit, and I just assumed they would just roll over and die, which they very much didn't. It's more than me that rolled over and died. So this time I'm going to be a little bit more careful. Uh, just one sec. So, as far as my free pulls go, I didn't really get a lot, though I got like 170 Cerulean Sparks or something off the Muko Frenzy for the last day, which was like, huh, it's too bad I don't want to spark anything from this this pool, but like, I'll take the Sparks for, uh, the Cer Cerulean Stones for buying stuff, I guess. Show Vera EMP. Uh, 
let's see. Attack, attack, B -b crit, crit, double, skill cap up. Seems solid. Oh yeah, let me put a ring on that. Sure. I'm gonna give her a proper ring if she's good. Yeah, I'll waifu ring. Actually, I need to waifu ring one of the Viras. I don't know which Vera. I have. <laughs> I don't have another waifu ring right now. The only character I have waifu ring on is Toyin, but I will have to waifu ring Vera. So let's go ahead and. Uh, hang on, let me change her pose. By the way, look at all these skins. Vera, Vera gets so much love. <laughs> Um, let's do this one. I don't know when they started doing this, but I noticed they don't default the pose to their second pose now. I think I have every single Vera skin. Actually, I don't think I have the card, the card game skin, but that's only, um, I should get the card game skin. What kind of Vera stand am I if I don't have the card game skin? Oh, shit. Okay, fade episode. Let's go. I, I buckle in. The core, I kind of want the SR Core West skin also. That's a really good skin. The worst wake up call. Well, I mean, I don't know how, if I like how this is starting off. Let's see. Okay, I guess we are still in Fantasyland. Hatred manifested in the forum of the motorized cogs and camshafts terrorizes the streets of Almathea. This mechanical monstrosity is Psycho Vera, the ultimate in Playboy purging technology. She's me. She's me. She's fucking me. She's locked onto the source of her revulsion. Three ants are trying to scurry away. By the skies, it won't be too long till Vera squishes us in the pace. We can only blame ourselves, bro. We were too busy clowning around. It's divine retribution for trying to get close to Catalina without taking Vera's feelings into account. If that's the case, then we deserve to be mushed in a pig slop. I mean, you're not wrong. At least they understand. Die. All playboys must die. I love her. Uh, I should turn up my desktop audio. Hang on a second, so you can actually hear the dialogue a little bit better. Well, let's see if that helps. What happened? Who's waking up? Are these the bros waking up? It's Vera waking up. What? <laughs> Was that Vera's dream? Did we just switch dream, like, dream perspectives here or something? To say that Vera wakes up on the wrong side of the bed would be an understatement. Sigh, why are those guys ruining my dreams too? Because they're awful. Vera lets out a sigh and shakes her head as if doing so might dissolve any lingering residue. They said they're sawi. <laughs> the sawi guys. Ugh, if someone invades my dreams, at least let it be Catalina. I need a mood changer. Dot dot dot. When doubt, I think of my knight in shining armor. Vera brightens an instant, bounds over to her closet. I feel so pandered to right now, I love it. <laughs> she goes through a wardrobe and pulls out a dress. How she came to own this piece is still fresh in her mind. Did Catalina give it to you? <laughs> it's been so long since we had a chance to go shopping together. Oh my god, Catalina did get it for her. Yeah, it's getting harder to make plans since the crew keeps expanding. I'm happy for Pash that the crew is making headway, but I've been somewhat lonely. Girl, you you are you're real subtle there, Vera. 
That's why I reserved you all to myself today. <laughs> Sorry, people are responding to my shit posting. Ha, ah, that suits me f just fine. But isn't there more. T Hang on, sorry. <laughs> Too flustered to read. That suits me just fine, but isn't there more you want to do besides strolling through town? Well, <laughs> now that you mention it, I did learn fist specialty. I'm perfectly content as long as I can spend time with you. Whatever else we end up doing is icing on the cake. Vera, you're, so, you're too pure for this world. Vera and Catalina window shop along the avenues. They catch up on recent events all, wa all the while. Wait, scroll faster. All the while. The lighting in the easy back and forth. Oh. Hmm, something catch your fancy? I think that dress would look smashing on you. It'd look even better on the floor. Me, I agree it's nice, but it's a little too fancy for my taste. Not at all. I dare say it was made for you. Hmm. Honestly, I think it might look better on you. So, as a, uh, as a person that's married to a woman also, uh, like, one of the, the really cute things is being able to trade clothes back and forth. I really love, like, wearing my wife's clothes every now and then. Oh. Kelly takes a dress and drapes along Vera's body. That's some good shit. See what I tell you. Dot dot dot. I'll fit the bill as a, uh, I'll fit the bill for the rest as a small token of appreciation for taking me out today. My wife does not play Grand Blue. Catalina, dot dot dot. Damn girl, you're gay. Ellipses. Vera closes her eyes and gives the garment a loving squeeze. Uh, it's her dress from the Another Sky music video, or, yeah, it's not, it's the dress from her music video, it's so good, oh my god, it's so good. I would play it, but I don't want the, the audio for this to get muted. Vera ventures into the inn's lobby in search of Catalina. The night is nowhere to be found, in her place is a trio of yous, not you fucking idiots. Oh wait, you're not the bros. What the fuck? Who are these idiots? <laughs> what? Yo, what's with the threads here? Who are you? And what are you doing in this inn? Catalina picked this up for me. Aha, gotcha. Can't wait. Can't blame you for wanting to put the sh put on a show around. Who is Kill a Taiga? Who, what is this? Did I just step into like a high school anime or something? Man, callie has got taste. Those duds are angelic. Before Rintaro can finish, Taiga smacks him upside the head. Watch your trap, dummy. What are you flirting for with that angel stuff? Come on, man. You got it wrong. I'm just saying angels wear white, and her dress is white, too. Why didn't you just say that in the first place? Back me up here, Subasa. Okay, so I never noticed this. I don't know how I never noticed this. Um, but Subasa is totally a JoJo character. He's got... <laughs> Like, that is totally Jojo, like, to Jojo style here. 
Yeah, I should just set it where it was white. Mm -hmm. told us not to wear anything that'll get stained because he's making pasta tonight. Ah, I see. Thanks for the warning. By the way, haven't, you haven't seen Catalina, have you? Yeah, we saw her. She promised to help us study today. She's fixing. What is she teaching? What is she teaching you? Like to read? Like, what? I I don't understand the dynamics of the crew. It's like sometimes it's like yeah, you're a bunch of mercenaries, and other times it's like like a daycare for idiots. I don't fucking understand. Oh, does he have the, the voice actor for Josuke? That make a lot of sense. You're studying with Catalina? I see, so that's what she is. She hasn't forgotten her duty as a mentor, and you all just happen to be students. <laughs> Are you going to kill them? <laughs> Very well. I'll help out and add supplemental my lesson, supplemental lessons of my own when you're done. I love it when she goes yandere. You got it. Okay, those are Mysteria characters. Our precious time together has been snatched away. Still, so I don't hold anything against those kids for asking Catalina for help. It's just unfortunate that this piece will have to wait for another opportunity to make its debut. Are you winking at me, Vera? See, see, I see what you're you're, you're doing. Vera's mood drops off a cliff, and she stares blankly at the floor while fidgeting with the hem of her dress. Hey, is that Vera? You look wonderful in that symbol. Can I ask what you're all dressed up for? No reason in particular, I was just being incredibly gay. Alright, it kind of, like, as an aside, it kind of fucks me up that they use uh, this art for Korwa, because it makes it seem like she just drags her music stand with her everywhere. I see. We were on our way to check out this cafe people are raving about. Care to join us? Sure, I just head out and wander anyway. Catalina had mentioned the side effects of expanding the, of an expanding crew, and Vera is experiencing it firsthand. She's lost some face time with Catalina, but gained some unexpected interactions in exchange. It's these interactions that spur the changes taking place within her heart. She gonna get a new girlfriend, one that actually like fully appreciates her. Uh, to answer the earlier question, does does Catalina like Vera? Um, it's very clear that Catalina cares about Vera a lot. It's uh, they never ever address whether Catalina like dislikes Vera's affections or likes them. Uh, like Cal like they never do it. She never addresses it. It's really fucking annoying. Like Vera very clearly loves Catalina, and Catalina cares about Vera. Like she's always by Vera's bedside when like bad shit happens, but and she's always like watching out for her and you know. They're always hanging out together, so it's like clearly they don't hate each other. Um, but whether or not like Catalina loves Vera romantically, that it's unclear whether or not it's unrequited or not. Um, I think like one of the big things in the Grand Vera uh, story arc was um, Vera, <clears throat> Vera, kind of getting a little bit of chill, and I, I like not being so singularly obsessed with Catalina, um, because, like, the Ranvira uh, story arc, which, not to, like, ramble on too long, uh, is all about, like, like, the turmoil that that puts her in. I mean, like, the thing that irritates me about the way Catalina treats Vera is, like, it's, like, 
you just like you know she loves you, Catalina. Fucking like either acknowledge her or get her to move on. Like you're just leaving her. You're just leading her on. Like do you like either return her affections or don't? But fucking say something. Like you're fucking killing her. I don't think Vera's into the captain, whether it's the Jeter or Dran, just because like she does. She implies that like they're a little. They're like a little sibling to her. Koran Satara lead the way to the cafe. <laughs> Girls, I'm safe. No exaggeration that you two are dressed for success. <laughs> Be it design, price, or whatever, when you slip on something that just clicks, don't you feel a mil like a million rupees? I can totally see the joy in someone's face when they do. It's uh, the best feeling in the world. How much is a million rupees? Because rupees are a real world currency. I don't think a million rupees is. Hang on. Now I gotta check. One million rupees. One million rupees uh, is fourteen thousand dollars, which you know it's nice to feel like fourteen thousand U.S. dollars, but I mean it's not like feeling like a million U.S. dollars. It doesn't even matter if some other tailor made them. I love it when people get kicked out of their clothes. So what I'm getting at is, I see two decked out ladies who are down for some fun. I am pumped. <laughs> the way you're gesturing over me is making me blush. I wonder if this is the, the Vera Gets a New Girlfriend episode. It's only because you tailored my outfit that looks good on me, Korwa. But Sutera is so cute. Nice choice! What can I say? Nothing shines brighter than the glow of a satisfied customer in their outfit. Cora just dragging her music stand and chair around for everywhere. I would be okay with Vera slash Cor or Vera X Corwa or Vera X Sutera. Vutera. Vitera Vitera would be their ship name. I originally recommended this dress to Catalina, but she said it looked better on me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. She was spot on. You'll be turning heads everywhere you go. What is this face you're making where you wink at me? It's, uh, it's very it's very strange. I wouldn't count on that. The only attention I've received so far is from Tsubasa and his friends, cautioning me not to grip pasta sauce on myself. Tsubasa and his friends, are they, are they the students tagging along with the crew recently? Yeah, those guys, they're a fun bunch, if a bit unpolished when it comes to conversation. Yes, they're diligent students. They even got Catalina to tutor them, leaving me out of her plans in the process. <laughs> Catalina's ace. <laughs> no, that, 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 that's, that's probably it. <laughs> They act tough, but their hearts are in the right place. Last time I was hanging out with those Lo those Lewain Last time I was hanging out with the Lewain gang, those kids. <sighs> Steam rises off unmistakably sharp. Sh Why can't I read today? Steam rises off the unmistakable shape of a fish's head, which rests on a plate in front of the trembling trio. This is a steamed bonito head. They say your magic gets better if you eat the brains and eyeballs. Yeah. Hey, I tried to spread- oh, right, right, right. 
kind of backfired. I think I just made it uglier. Instead of fishing for fixes, I figured simple little is best. So, like, am I supposed to scoop out the eyes or something? Uh huh. It's, it ain't happening. The medium head continues to give them a more give them the fish eye, daring them to make a move. Dot dot dot. One youth steps up to the challenge, staring at the fish without staring the fish down without so much as blinking. Oh, he or it? He's definitely a JoJo character. Subasa thrusts out his fork, aiming straight for the fish. What is happening? What? Da what? <laughs> Excuse me? What is happening? <laughs> dot dot dot. You took my precious Catalina time away from me. Quits <laughs> must die. You can't just invade someone's memories like that. Dot dot dot. So they're all like, I ain't losing no fish, and they forced it down. Somehow they still had seemed to have fun with it. <laughs> dot dot dot. <laughs> Vera snaps back to reality. Somehow her dream from earlier has seeped into the conversation. Life that provides sustenance shouldn't be wasted. How conscientious of them. <laughs> right? They got their heads screwed on, right? <laughs> Fear tags along with Korwa and Satara to the local cafe. The three women satisfy their appetite for cake and tea, settle the bill, and prepare to leave the cafe. Very sure taking her sweet time. Maybe something happened in the restroom? Korwa and Sutera grow concerned over Vera's extended absence. Oh, well that's someone about to die. Ah, oh, come on babe, what's the point of going home early after getting all spruced up? Let's chill. You don't know when to quit. I told you, I'm not interested. Wow, you're a generic character hooligan model. You're fucking definitely gonna die. Don't be like that. You must be my little... You must like my company a little. I don't see you running off. If you're like a snotty tissue stuck to my heel that I can't get off of getting my hands dirty. <laughs> Since you're able to move of your own volition, however, would you please go and flush yourself down the toilet? Huh. <laughs> Look here, Missy, you don't want to piss me off. Now you're threatening me? What exactly is a wadded-up tissue going to do, pray tell? You asked for it, hot lips. Then Rage Man pulls a knife from the sheet behind his back. Vera's gonna fucking kill you! You're so... you're dead! <laughs> dot dot dot. Vera... Vera's <laughs> hands move effortlessly, in her imperceptibly swift to the untrained eye and leaves him with the knife. What the... <laughs> I had to stick this knife back where it belongs. Now where exactly would that be? Alright, let's be cool. No need to escalate. Hee <laughs> hee. The man falls flat on his rear, frantically squirms away. Oh, that's cute. Korra called her honey. Vera, honey, are you okay? His aggressiveness was a bit disconcerting, but a man of his ineptitude is nothing I can't handle. I guess people like this exist everywhere you go. 
どいつもこいつもどうしてうちの気空団の人たちみたいにわきまえた行動ができないの ?Why is it no one outside our group seems to have any idea how to behave? そりゃ言葉遣いが乱暴だったり傲慢だったりチャラい人たちもいるけどあんな礼儀知らずはいないわよ Sure, we've got a few members who are rough around the edges or a little big for their britches but not one of them would dream like You know, there's like 200 people in the crew There's a lot of fucking people in the crew right now I kind of imagine like How they would fit that many people on one airship? There's got there's at least 200, I guess. So true, you can tell our crew members are nice people by just by talking to them. Even if some of them are a little weird, I think the reason there's nothing but good people on board is down to Pasha's morality. Yeah, I throw all the assholes, I throw all the fuckboys overboard. That's the problem. It'd be so much easier to chase off crew members if they were losers like the man from before. But irritating as it is, Catalina assumes. But irritating as it is, Catalina enjoys the cooking of the frivolous threesome. And I'm sure she enjoys counseling those mysterious students too. Vera, is something troubling you? No. I'm just clearing something on my head. I enjoyed today's get together. I'm being honest. If I, I feel as if I can speak my mind without worrying about my status. It reminds me of my academy days with Catalina. This is definitely Vera Learns to Date Other Women episode. Also Vera Learns to Share episode. Excuse me. Am I out of AP? Okay. I forgot Fate episodes take AP. Tonight's dinner is delicious, and Catalina was all smiles. It used to be me who prepared her meals, but that's changed. She used to be. She used to be the one who'd noticed the size I'd made and praised me for it. That's no longer always the case. Nothing's really changed between us, yet it feels like we're drifting away from each other with each new member out of the crew. Vera. Like, girl, you're super codependent. You need you need to find someone better for you. I'm in uncharted waters. Meeting Pash has changed me. But I think certain aspects that I didn't want to change were affected too. What I consider to be special, what I want it to be special, have they lost their luster? Vera tries to put anxiety, her anxiety to rest and pulls the covers over her head. Girl, you're a mess. <laughs> also, I've been there. Catalina, Catalina! Don't throw in the towel, fight the ray and blah blah blah. Toy boys like you can never feed, hope to defeat her alone. Delinquent M? Okay. <laughs> Does she not know his name? <laughs> Oh, 
You want to go push him around so easy now, the gear cycle crew rolled up. You're all dead. Now we're adding punks to the mix. This is basically our only hope. We'll make it work somehow. The youth revs his engine and speeds off. What is happening? <laughs> die. All pests must die. <laughs> she killed him! Oh, he's dead! Young! How fast? <laughs> How fast Gritty gonna cut it? Oh my god. Playboys and delinquents unite, and the pitch battle with the mighty murder machine is in full swing. What is happening? Projectiles from the ancient warrior are deftly dodged, and its harsh blows withstood by its steely wills. Yeah, our fence is slowly chips away at Psycho Vera's armor, but is it enough? Catalina, Catalina. Catalina! This is Crave of Capital C. I fucking hate you! Oh my god, I hate you! Damn it. Psycho Vera's unre unrepentant assault has her foes on the ropes. You passed her dead! That's far. Oh my god. Psycho Vera. That I thought. Sai. I can't ignore this even if it's just a dream. Where did you come from, Catalina? <laughs> Do you intend on rescuing them, Vera? Why would you? This isn't what Catalina would want. I'm putting a stop to you since you can't play nice with others. All I've done in the dirt has been for her sake. And that's not about to change now. Stay on my way. Why? Oh. oh my god, they're teaming up. I'm gay. Also, what the fuck is happening? Also, I wish my dreams were this fucking over the top. Also, which version of Vera is this? Okay, later rise. So this is her Asar version? What is it? this? This fate episode is like, what's happening? Oh man, just like old times, that's super cute. We are learning to skill, Nitro Force. Oh 
Now, Vera, show me your determination. Hi. Right. Catalina's words of encouragement give Vera just the boost she needs. Huh? Ugh. Vera's slash, instead of sharpened by her feelings of adoration, cut deep into Vera's armor. Won't lose. Catalina. Catalina. Dot, dot, dot. Psycho, wep Psycho Vera prepares to fire the weapon she used to fry the Playboys. But there's a problem. Empty? You used up your ammunition and energy fighting against the boys. That means you're finished. Superb, Vera. Your sword is no longer lost in the shadows of gloom. Yes, Catalina. Vera offers Catalina a smile, but not all traces of doubt have been erased from her face. Maybe I spoke too soon. Is anything else bothering you? No. A dream is just a dream, but I still accepted the fact that those boys could be relied upon in tough situations. That's right. Maybe now you can understand why I can't bring myself to hate them. Yes, I do. With the Luwain trio taking care of the cooking and Catalina helping the students with the studies, I had more time to spend with Korwa and Sutera. It's only natural that some of what we shared can no longer be exclusive. Even so, when I think about me and Catalina. The next morning dawns. Vera, dot dot dot. Although Vera's dreams help her clear up much of her hang some of her hang-ups, it hasn't done much to improve her mood. Vera dons her white dress again, clinging to the memento of Catalina in the face of the dwindling time they have together. Catalina, dot dot dot. Oh, Vera, there you are. Good mo- This is where Catalina realizes she's gay. Dot dot dot. Catalina stands there at a loss for words. What's wrong? Sorry, it's just that you look even nicer in that than I imagined. She's winking. Catalina's fucking winking at Vera. Really? Yes, you look fantastic. This is so pure! Hmm, was it something I said? Uh, um, hee <laughs> hee Are you alright? Should I fetch a doctor? No, haha, I'm fine, just peachy. <laughs> okay, so, if anyone ever says they're just peachy, they're ne like they're never just peachy. No one that says they're just peachy is okay. Uh, what's this feeling? I can't find the words to describe how happy I am. You're too pure for this world. By the way, were you look were you looking for me? Oh. Mm, I was wondering if you might make me lunch. 
Make me a sandwich, Rira. Er. Watching Tsubasa and others study reminded me of our school days back in Albion. Remember how you used to make me sandwiches all the time? I suddenly felt a craving for one. Is that so? Then I'd be liable to. Wonderful, I hope you don't mind the extra work. Not all. Let's round up passion others for a picnic. New situations can sometimes feel daunting. But Vera hasn't lost what's important to her, and Catalina's words ring clear in her heart. That's the fucking. That's the another sky song from the music video. Bah. So Vera heads into town to buy the ingredients with the weight of the world lifted from her shoulders. Ah! <laughs> ah! Yeah, that was so cute. Oh my god. Wow. So this is why I I really like Rear so I really like Vera's characterization in the series just because um she starts in this place where like she's very one note and like, you know, she's just the Yandere that's like super obsessed with Catalina. But like through the course of all her fate episodes, she actually develops as a character. Like she has a character arc and she like she grows into a much healthier person than she is at the start, which is really cool to see. Granted, she's had six characters worth of fate episodes to do that, plus main story episodes, so <laughs> she gets a lot of attention, but like, I really enjoy her as a character. So now, um, I guess the only thing that's left is uh, Fire Vera, uh, which they've done five Vera's. Uh, at SSR. One in every element except for fire so far, so I would be fucking shocked if we don't get a fire Vera next year, if not this year. And I wonder if for the last Vera, like the last version of Vera, they'll, fi like, they'll finally like get Catalina to like acknowledge Vera's like affection for her or something. Because fire's the passion element, apparently. But we'll see. I really like that. That was really sweet. Now I gotta see what she actually does. Yeah, they save fire for last on purpose. That's when we get Valentine's Vera. Uh, Vera was oh, like Vera, so. If people, if you haven't been playing Grand Blue for like a long, long time, uh, if you look at the character popularity polls, I think she is won by far the most of them. Like, there, I think it was like twenty sixteen. She won like eight of them in that year, and was the top three for like for like 11 of them or something like that like some certain there's a record you can find a record somewhere on on google just google the fan poll, poll results but yeah she's she has won more of them by like magnitudes than any other character so um Psy games definitely pushes her really uh as like one of the poster girls which is really cool because like you don't see a lot of lgbt characters being pushed as poster characters there's tracer so Le lesbians represent. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so hang on. There is Summer Vera. Water Vera is just a random character. Wind Vera is just a random character. There's Grand Vera. So she has a grand character, she just has a summer character. So we could get a Christmas Vera, though there is already a Christmas Vera skin. And then we could also get like a New Year's Vera, but there's also already a New Year's Vera skin. Um, so maybe the next Vera, the Fire Vera, will be like um, maybe Fire Vera will be Valentine's. That would make the most sense. Yeah, like like she doesn't have a Valentine's skin as far as I know, and. Uh, that would make sense. Valentine's is red and all, and like, you know, 
they like like love loving couple stuff and like yeah like it would make a lot of sense if fire of Europe were valentines um man the fucking yule and sachet fate episodes and now the vera episodes ah oh, what a time to be alive what a time to be alive <laughs>